Hey guys, this is Tyron Ratcliffe from TyronRatcliffe.com. I want to shoot a video today. This is going to be sort of a rant. But uh, I'm pretty sure you know that Robin Williams committed suicide yesterday. I guess he was uh, had a bout for depression for uh, the last couple years. And I guess he got off his meds and, and decided to commit suicide and kill himself. And, you know... First and foremost, my heart goes out to his family, uh, his loved ones, his friends, and his fans. I'm one of his. I, I loved him as an actor. Uh, he was, you know, my favorite movie is Good Will Hunting, and he, I think to this day I still think that's his best performance. His best performance as an actor, I believe, was in Good Will Hunting. So, my heart goes out to him and his family and his loved ones. But. Uh, the topic of this video is, is about chemical dependence. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about this because this is really a subject that kind of gets, uh, not really under my skin, but uh, it, it really bugs me because why, why is it that in, in modern day society everybody needs a chemical to get throughout the day. Now, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I drink coffee and I, I'm a big caffeine fan. I love coffee, you know. And I have a drink from, from time to time, but I, I don't I don't need any of that stuff. I don't need coffee to get throughout my day, you know. I, I could just drink water. No, I don't need alcohol. I quit cigarettes years and years ago. Now, I don't want to, I don't want get, to give people the impression that I'm judging them. You know, you just don't know that person's situation. Uh, but, you know, a lot, a lot of people, this is going to be a very a big topic because of what happened yesterday and, and with Rob Williams committing suicide because of depression. And this is going to be a very, very big topic. Uh, too bad it takes something like this to happen for it to be, you know, for us to have to be focused on it, uh, on the whole topic of depression. But I believe that... Uh, he yeah, had spiritual issue. You know, one thing that really bugs me is a lot of people, they always want to blame things on chemicals and DNA and stuff like that. You know, I think it, ha it plays a big role. You know, like a lot of people believe that mercury in the body has, a, an, uh, has an effect on people as far as whether or not they're going to become depressed or not. I think... If you have mercury in the body, you, have, you might have a better chance of becoming depressed than someone that doesn't. Or if you have a higher level, a high level of mercury in the body, you have a better chance of being depressed than if you didn't. But I think the chemicals are just culprits. So, for example, a lot of people say a lot of it has to do with family background and DNA. Once again, it's a chemical is the problem. Or it's mercury. I believe depression really is a spiritual issue that that person has. That's just my belief. And what I think causes depression is the fact that that it is either you know I think the person gives up and, and decides that they no longer have control of their lives. They think they're they're depressed and they're conscious of it. They they know that they're depressed and they believe that 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 depression is, for some reason, taken over their body and they have no control over the outcome. And I think a lot of it has to do with loneliness and not having any purpose. I, that's another thing. Um, I think another thing that causes depression is, the, is thinking that you're not part of the big picture. Thinking that you're just... You know, I understand the whole idea of being an individual and saying, I'm, I'm an individual, I'm myself, I'm not like society i'm unique and that's important but understanding that you're still part of the big picture start thinking that you're just this one person that's just out there you're going to be detached from society and you're going to be lonely and you know what i'm saying you got to believe that you're a, you're you're a part of this this machine understand that you know but here's the thing depression is a not depression but suicide is a selfish act Period. Let's just call a spade a spade. I, I just want to keep it real. Depression, I mean,
committing suicide is a selfish act. You're leaving family and loved ones behind. That's a selfish act. We can't, no, no way to, to cut it. No other way to cut it. It's that simple. That was a selfish act that he did. Now, I can't judge him for that. I have no problem. That's my. That's one of my favorite actors. I love the guy. You know, he, he was a great actor, a great person. He had integrity. He didn't, you know, he never really hurt anybody, from what I know. You know, he helped out a lot of people. You know, gave back, gave the charity, did a lot of things for uh, the community. So, got nothing wrong with him. But you know, suicide is a is a selfish act. Um. But as I was saying, I, I don't think it was a chemical. I think it was just a spiritual issue that he was having. And a lot of things contributed to that, to that, that issue that he had. And another thing, another thing I believe is, you know, we can't, we can't judge people. You know, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, how could somebody like Robin Williams kill themselves? He has everything going for him. He's an actor. He makes millions of dollars. He has a nice house in Northern California. He has a wife. He has a, a family. Why would somebody do something like that? But the thing is, you have to understand, that's uh, not everything. Uh, we can't, we can't, we, we don't want to be quick to judge people, you know. We don't know what was going on in his life. You know, he could have had some relationship issues. Maybe, you know, he he might have not, they might have not portrayed that. Okay. He could have had some relationship issues. And as I was saying, it could have been genetics. It could have been, you know, there's other factors involved. But I think he was having a spiritual issue. Uh, a lot of depressed people, they detach themselves from society. They become lonely. Or they believe that they're lonely. And like I was saying before, you got to understand that you're part of this machine. You're part of, you know, as unique as you are, you're still part of the big, the big picture. You're not just this, like some hermit that's just out there, detached from society. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you got. If you die, you're gonna affect other people. You know what I'm saying? You when you die, you're gonna, you know. Family are going to be affected. Your your loved ones, the people that are close to you, your 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 friends, your coworkers, your your spouse, your wife, husband, whatever. They're going to be affected by that. So, you know, if you're depressed and you feel like you're lonely, well, you're really not. You got family. I'm guessing you have some family. You have some loved ones. You have people that care for you. So understand, don't detach yourself from people. You know, I me. That's one of the problems, and I'll just I'll admit it right now. That's one of the problems that I've had for the longest time. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of one of those guys where I just like doing my own thing. You know, I like to be alone by myself. And, and I, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nerd, you know. I'm a brainiac. I read a lot of books. That's, that's what I do most of the time. And I need to get better at getting out there and, and, and being around people, you know, being around friends and family and stuff like that. You know, I got, I'm not saying I'm a loner. I got friends, you know. I, I have a, a, a girl I'm talking to right now, you know. She might be my girlfriend uh, in the future. So I, I got, you know, I have friends. I'm not, I'm not a loner, but, you know, that's something that I need to work on. So understand that, really the point of this video is understand that people care about you. There's somebody out there that cares about you. If you decide you want to kill yourself, that's a, that's a selfish act, and that's going to affect somebody. Someone's going to be affected by that. So don't don't detach yourself from society. Stop thinking that you're just, you know, you're this lonely. You're just going to be lonely, and you're just going to separate yourself from everybody else, and no one's going to be affected by your acts and what you do because they are. They won't. They are. You know, it's, it's as simple as that. And, of course, don't judge people. You never know what's going on in that person's life. Money's not everything. <laughs> as you can see, money's not everything. He had a lot of money, obviously. He's, he's a great actor. He's a celebrity. He's been around for decades. You know, 
was on Saturday Night Live, and Mork and Mindy, and you know. So, don't judge people. You don't know what people are going through. So, I like to leave you with a, a couple of tips, a couple of things that can help you uh, if you feel like you're gonna, if you're going to slide into depression, if you feel like you're at really close to be, you know, if you're lonely, those are those are some signs right there. If you feel like you're lonely and you're kind of unhappy all the time, and you feel like you're you're detached and you feel like you're not a, a part of something, you know, you need to be careful. You know, you, like I was saying. Get around people, you know, get around family, get around loved ones, you know, be social, you know. If you're living by yourself, there's nothing wrong with living by yourself, but, you know, get out there, get out, get out, go to a mall or do something, just get around people. That's another thing, get around people, man. <laughs> the worst thing you can do if you feel like you're going to be, you're sliding into depression is just sit at home by yourself. <laughs> get out there, get around people, get around some loved ones and get help, get Get a doc. Get a find a professional that 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 can that can help you. You know, get get around professionals. Find a professional that can help you with that. Don't wait until you're depressed to get help. If you feel like you know, uh, you feel like you might be sliding into depression, get help right away before it gets worse. Uh, maybe you need medicine. I, I don't know. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not a, doc, a doctor that specializes in treating people with depression, but hey, we, you always got Google. You can always type in, you know, what are the warning signs of depression, so on and so forth. You, you, get, you get my point. So, hope you like my 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 video. I know it's we're running on 12 minutes right now. Uh, I usually talk about topics that have to do with business and entrepreneurship and and marketing your business online but I like to shoot these videos you know I think a big part of doing what I do as an entrepreneur as an internet entrepreneur creating content online is just getting people to know me uh, not just as a business person but you know understand that I got opinions about other topics not just business entrepreneurship and internet marketing so this is Tower Rackup I hope you like my video you can find me at towernrackup.com I'll talk to you soon